everyone and welcome back to my channel Science Done Well. In this video I'm going to be telling you about what I saw on my trip to Bletchley Park. So let's get started. So first of all, Bletchley Park is in Milton Keynes in the county of Buckinghamshire in England. Bletchley Park is the site where British code breakers worked to break the Enigma code in World War II and greatly shortened the war too. So if you don't already know the Enigma code was the secret code used by the Nazi Germans in the Second World War. The Enigma machine was the machine used to convert messages into code. Each Enigma machine had three rotors, which would be set to a different value every day, and to find out the code, sheets with the code on for that month were given out. The sh th these sheets were written in disposable ink, so that if the Allies captured one, the code would have vanished. Also on the Enigma machines, on the front was the plug board. When you press the key on the keyboard, it would first go through the plug board, then the rotors, and black back through the plug board. This enciphered the letters, making a secret code. A flaw of the Enigma code, however, is that a letter will never turn out to be itself. This was one of the clues that eventually helped the team at Bletchley Park to crack the code. There were over 100 million 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 possible code combinations and it was completely impossible for the Allies to figure out the code before it changed for the next day. At Bletchley Park they have some of the original Enigma machines and they also have an interactive digital Enigma machine where you can code your own message. Here is a picture of the Enigma machine. The machine which en enabled the code breakers to crack the Enigma code was called the BOMB, spelt B-O-M-B-E, and it was devised by a brilliant mathemat mathematician called Alan Turing. Here is a picture, picture of a statue at him at Bletchley Park. The BOMB, the bomb machine worked by having sets of three rotors each working like an Enigma machine. When it was switched on, all of the rotors starting spi started spinning until they worked out a valid combination. Then the machine would stop the rotors spinning, indicating it had found a match. Then the operators could pass the code on to be translated. All the bomb machines from World War II have been destroyed, but at Bletchley Park they have rebuilt one. Here is a video of the rebuilt bomb machine in action. Alan Turing is also known as the father of computer science because of the work he did after the war, de war developing more advanced computers, which led on to the sort of computers we have today. Unfortunately, he died in 1954. So there you go, a bit about Alan Turing and the bomb machine and how it ha helped to end the Second World War. I hope you found it interesting and maybe you learnt something new. I'll see you in my next video, but until then, farewell.